hello guys you welcome back to my channel this is Mary and your girl and i'm super excited to have you back on my channel if you're new here you're welcome do consider subscribing and if you're my subscriber i really do appreciate you so in today's video i'll be touching a topic that i talked about in my last week's video so while i was making that video why people love nigerians i mentioned that there is a reason why most employers here do not like to employ nigerians and i will be giving you reasons why i said that so you see some employers here yes it is good the uae has a very amazing labor they have good governance and they have everything but you cannot control what all the companies do yes you cannot control what all the companies do there are uh, lots, what do I say? There are lots of employers in this place who would usually employ people and make them slave and not pay for them. They make them work. They make them do all the things that they are supposed to do. But at the end of the day, they end up not keeping their own part of the bargain. So that is where Nigerians come in. Usually, you would see different nationalities being employed by such companies you will see other nationalities filipinos nepali uh, you know uh, bangladesh a lot of different companies kenyans ugandans all employed there is this um, security company that i once knew they had no nigerians in their company and they said that was because Nigerians revolted last time in their company. And because of that, they do not employ Nigerians anymore. So the thing is, you know that the UAE has a good labor and they have set out rules that uh, employers should follow when they employ people. They have set out rules that <laughs> employers should keep when they employ people. So now, because Nigerians, to be honest with you, Nigerians, you know that Nigerians are more educated than these other nationalities. So Nigerians do not fail to read the labor contract. Nigerians do not fail to know what and what they will get, what and what they should take, what and what they shouldn't take. So that when these uh, employers start to uh, like give what they are not supposed to give or treat them in a certain kind of way that they are not supposed to treat them, Nigerians are those ones who will open their mouth and tell the employers what he needs to hear. Nigerians are those staff who are not scared to tell the managers what they need to hear. Nigerians are staff that you employ and you get your job done. But if they need to speak their mind, they will speak up. If you are doing something bad, they will speak up. If you are doing something against the rules or against the rules of the company, they will speak up. If you are doing something against the rule or the rules of uh, the labor, they will speak up and even threaten to report you to the labor and it's true because i know this so now this has been something that some of these shady employers do not like so they like to skip nigerians when they employ in fact that is one very very strong reason why they skip nigerians because they do not like people who talk back and when i mean talk back i don't mean disrespectful I mean, when you tell someone what to do or you give them something like a very bitter pill, they will definitely say something about it. Now, I've worked with a lot of people. I've worked with a lot of different nationalities. And I, have, I came to realize that so many people are dying in silence. Mommy, wait. So many people are dying in silence. They are working, but they are unhappy. They are working, but they have a lot of complaint. But they are not brave enough. Sorry, they are not brave enough. 
they are not strong enough to face the people they are not confident enough to say what they need to say that is on their mind so that they will be heard now i'll give you a story when i came to the uae i was employed by an employer who was really very nice she is a local so she was having an agency so what she does is recruit people and send them to work in different establishments so she pays us while they pay her so when she employed me i write my contract i write everything i accepted it and in that contract it said that public holidays will be paid public holidays will be paid over time will be paid now while i was working there came a, a public holiday and we had to work because our business or the place where i work thrives in holidays weekends and you know things like that so you were really needed in a holiday so that holiday came instead of us to be at home we worked then at the end of the month we had uh, we had a supervisor then who's filipino and all the other staff were all filipinos i was the only african and black lady they said they had an african guy i think but i think the guy left so i was the only one who was there as at that time so i did the overtime and he came to me when it was salary time i got my salary and i didn't get anything extra and then when this guy came i was supposed supervisor i said to him lionel i thought i was supposed to get extra because i did three days extra and he was like oh i'm sorry marianne we don't pay over time what we do is we give it to you in terms of days i'm like no no i read it it was clearly stated that overtimes are paid it was clearly stated that public holidays and overtimes will be paid but now i have done this job and then you didn't pay why it's like miriam i'm sorry this has always been the way this is our mommy what is it stop sorry sorry i had to belch so he was like this has always been uh, the way we work here and you're not the only staff you're actually a new one and you should understand i'm like but there was a contract that i signed he said yes and other people signed the same contract i'm like in that contract it stipulated that it will be paid he said yes i know i said so why is it not being paid he said because we will give it to you another day i said overtime is overtime i said it to them that overtime treasure please stop disturbing okay i said to them that overtime is overtime and then if you need to do anything is to pay me the money not give me extra days i didn't come to uae to to uh have overtimes and not get it paid i came here to make money so he said to me then i'm sorry there's nothing we can do about it if you can if you want you can talk to the owner of the business i'm like okay i'll do that i picked up my phone i left him he left i picked up my phone i called her hello ma'am she's a woman hi ma'am good afternoon she said hi marianne how are you i said i'm good she said alhamdulillah god bless her she was amazing she was a very amazing person till today i can tell you that lady is a very good woman so our conversation went on she was like what's the problem what can i do for you her big test said ma'am when i signed the contract you said that over times and public holidays will be paid she said yes I said and I did over time and I had there was a public holiday but it wasn't paid she said okay so I said to her okay so now I've done this over time I need to be paid for it she said it's okay if you need to be paid you'll be paid I said I told Lionel about this but he told me he was she was like ah oh, it's okay don't worry about it now that you have told me I'll take care of it I said oh thank you I didn't know it was going to be that easy I didn't know it was going to be that easy just asking and I asked her and she said it's okay you'll be paid I will send Lionel to come to give you the the balance I was like what really just like that I said that to myself but now let me tell you what she said she said to me Miriam uh please can you keep this quiet like 
don't discuss this with the other staff because they never asked and they've always had had that holiday as extra days off so you're the only one who asked me can you please just keep it between me and you and then it dawned on me that the bible said ask and you should receive seek and you should find and you shall find knock and it shall be opened up to you if you do not ask how will you receive if you don't ask how will you receive so this is it I asked and I received. And this is the reason why most employers hate Nigerians. Because the good employers love Nigerians. I work with a very good company. They pay everything. They pay their dues. Everything stipulated in the labor law. They give. They don't have any issue with any nationality. But Kachara companies, Kachara, if you know what Kachara means, Kachara means trash. Trashy companies, they want the people they can deal with. They can deal with and they keep quiet. And Nigerians are not those ones to deal with. So this is the reason why they do not like to employ Nigerians. Yes. And that's it. So if you have any question, if you have anything to say, drop it down in the comment section. So without further ado, do have a lovely day. Do have a happy day. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.